this anime is going to kill me. What's up? So this is going to be Tier Eternity Episode 6. And last episode we saw the death of one of the most beloved characters of probably this anime season. March. And the way they did it was pretty heavy. Um, I think it was a good send off. I'm not sure she's truly dead because we did see her interactions with Fushi in that little spirit realm between life and death kind of made it seem as if her emotions or soul are still within Fushi. So maybe he'll be able to turn into her later. But Hayase is definitely one of the most annoying hated characters of this anime season as well. And for good reason. What she did, how she just mercilessly killed March. <sighs> it just pisses me off and the fact that she didn't die at the end it just lets you know that she's gonna come back and this is not the end of the road for her and Perona actually goes back to the village and it actually takes a while it takes like a few months um and by that time uh because of rigor mortis March's body is completely you know decayed and gotten smaller so it's just it's just a whole clusterfuck at the end of that episode we see Fushi escape and who knows what the Yanome troops are going to do to the village, but we also don't know where Fushi's going to go after this. It seems like he's starting to so show some sort of emotion. I wonder if he's actually going to start talking normally. We'll see. Let's go. Escape from Yanome prison brought about an unexpected situation. Hell yeah, it did. Hell yeah. Oh, I don't want to see. Don't show me this again. Yes, right? He did. So it's not only that he takes over people's bodies, but he can take over their emotions. Like marches. So he just keeps moving on, man. They have to return. The other characters, Perona and all of them, it has to return at some point, though. Oh, okay, in a bullish form. Oh, okay, that's pretty smart. So it knows when to choose which form, and we've seen that in the past episodes. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Felt unreal. Yeah, dude. I mean, you're taking on all the pain from the arrows and all that. Oh, it did turn into March! Yo! Oh my god. Oh, look at that. It has the wound. It has the wound right there. Oh no, dude. Oh, man. Oh, this is so cute, but so sad. Oh, it's the old lady, right? Is that the old lady from the prison thing? It is. It is. It is. Okay. Oh, she's gonna think it's March. Oh no. Damn. First thing you do when you see her, you just complain? Okay. Dumbass. Old woman. It's just a kid. What the fuck is she gonna do for you? Oh, that's the spot where she died. What is she doing? Ha, uh, got him. Oh, is he sad? No shot. It's so interesting to see Fushi's thought process. He saw the blood, and now where is he gonna go? But it seems like the old lady's tagging along, so... I don't know how much help she's gonna be, but... I wonder if she's gonna be the next one to die. Oh, she's hungry, bro. He's gonna turn into March and go grab some fruit. Sounds like Luffy, bro. Is she gonna try to eat him? No shot. What? You don't even got the teeth for that, buddy. Yeah, I wouldn't if I were you. You know if he turns into the bear, it's GG's for you. Yeah, throw him some fruit. This is crazy. This is a role reversal. Remember, March was just doing this to Fushi not too long ago. And now it's like Fushi's become March and doing the same thing to this old lady who's basically acting like Fushi did. It's all full circle. Uh, she's trying to get her to say thank you. See, look at her how mad she is, you piece of shit. Aww. That's kind of cute. Okay, maybe she's not all bad. She's just trying to survive like everyone else. So he's he's going to learn how to speak and write. Okay. 
so she's teaching so she's teaching him all the names that's crazy he never got to know the name of that boy though that's sad oh my god he's learning guys look at this oh and he's learning how to actually drink water in a more in a smarter way i like this progression right here we need this kind of episode there's a lot of action last episode, but even these types of episodes are pretty necessary, especially considering the concept of the show itself. Yo! <laughs> Bougie's cute, bro. Oh, this is dope. Did he say yup? Did he just like, uh confirm what she said damn look at this guy bro oh how much time has passed yo my mind is blowing up right now yeah time has definitely passed oh my god this is crazy bro is this what it's like to see your your firstborn child talk and walk for the first time okay i need to look up fushi's voice actor because this is really good it actually sounds like he doesn't know how to speak and he's just learning well something bad is definitely about to happen yup there we go <laughs> it's just it's so obvious what is that a root Oh, it's like a forest monster, forest spirit or something. Damn. Clapped up. Oh, he's taking control of him? Loki? Look, he is getting his nutrients. Very lucky that uh, he chose to body Fushi and not the old lady first, huh? Okay, he took on his form. He's like fighting a shadow version of yourself. Oh, he's like, how fucking dare you? That's my boy. What is this? What is this, time slowing down? What? What is this? He is stopping time. Oh, is this... Why does this sound like the narrator? Is this God? Is this of this universe? He can no longer turn into the boy? No way. Okay. Interesting. Yo, he's got moves, bro. Ooh, take his head off. Take it off. There's a core in its midsection. Rip that core out of its flesh. Oh, okay. So, like a crystal or something? Oh. 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 Oh, it's taking all his forms away. Yo, you are no help. He said, don't come. Oh, dude, you gotta win with the... I mean, he's... He's gonna have to win with March, I feel like. March is gonna, which is like very poetic, but. What? What kind of monster is this? So this is like his worst enemy right now. And what happens if he takes all his forms? He's just gonna turn, oh, he still has the rock form. This is true. Yeah, bro, all it has to do is impale you. And like the bear is the worst for that. That's it. Right there. That's it. GG's. Oh, the core's right there! It's gonna have to be March. Oh, now it's turning into the bear versus March. Holy shit. Oh, get in there! Just get inside! Yes! Now, uh, I don't know, rip it off. Make it stab itself. Maybe? Oh, it's clawing at itself. 
Yes, take the core out. Almost there. One more. Yes. You got it? Oh, he's about to die from that height. You can't. Oh, wait, never mind. Ooh. Ooh. Saved. <laughs> Maker? Oh, it is. Oh. It is the. Be the deity of this universe. Oh, someone sent the entity? So is there like a devil or something? Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't know. That was weird. Oh man. That was some Luffy reaction right there. That's some shit Luffy would have said. Where is this? Oh, nice helmet. Okay. Wow, so this was what I thought was going to be a mostly chill episode, but there was actually a lot going on. So pretty much half of it was Fushi kind of moving on from the village and finding a new place to be and kind of figuring out where he's going to go next. And he comes across Pieron, the old lady that we have saw in the past couple episodes. And she takes on the role of a teacher, kind of teaching Fushi words and how to speak. It's evident that their journey has actually taken like a decent amount of time. Maybe even like months just like uh, the journey that Perona took. Because you see him go from, you know, starting to learn like the words of like um, what things are around him to like actually being able to form his own sentences and respond without like being told to. Fushi is growing and learning and I think this episode was very important and uh, low-key kind of overdue. This is like episode 6, so we're pretty much halfway through. And I think it's a good point to kind of start having Fushi develop like more sentience. We do see him turn into March. And like I said in the episode, when he was throwing the fruit as March from the tree, it was very similar to... And it was a reference to when March was throwing food at him from the tree. So... That was pretty cool to see how he's grown that much and he's emulating what March would have did. But the second half of the episode, we get introduced to the god, the deity of this universe, the one that sent Fushi down to Earth, the one that, you know, made him into what he is, the one that's guiding him. And at first I thought he's the one that sent that, uh, that creature after him, but apparently there, it was sent down and he didn't say it was by him. So I'm assuming there is some sort of antagonistic force. Uh, maybe like some sort of devil figure that is trying to stop his objective and mission. I do wonder what that mission is and objective is. Um, it's definitely going to be something larger than life. I don't think it's going to be something simple, but yeah, it was interesting to see. I'm glad we got to see this god and uh, hopefully he's a good guy. Uh, he seems okay. It seems like he was just there to help him. That enemy was actually pretty scary because if you think about it, it was literally made just for Fushi and literally it could be like his worst enemy and pretty much just like exploited his weakness which is if he doesn't have his forms what is, what is he right he's just an orb so yeah great episode of tier eternity fushi's learning fushi fushi's growing we have pioran the old lady at the end of the episode they do get to some place um i think it's a place that pioran knows so he's coming into contact with new people we'll see where those relationships go but hopefully we do get Perona back in the story at some point. I think she's going to have another, I think she's going to have a good reintroduction, probably at like a climactic moment. So yeah, looking forward to that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and let me know what you guys thought down below. Hit that sub and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.